Hi, today on a, on a fragment of the NetSlum tutorial video, we will be showing you how to how to download and apply the English Grunty Food Voices patch. Now, this is an unofficial patch to the to the English translated uh, translation. It will require you to have not only your own copy of the English version of IMOQ, but your but a copy of the of a tele patched fragment ISO. Now, the installation uh, the, the installation process is pretty simple. But it's a, it's can be a little bit confusing, and it is an unsupported as an unsupported. If you have any questions, we really won't be answering them. But I'm hoping that I answer most of them with this video. You can download a copy of the uh, of the patch on the Netslum BBS. If you click on the BBS tab as I just did, and if you go to .hack fragment section, and it's under the .hack fragment technical section. And I will actually provide a link to the post in the video description below, so yeah, if you would rather just use that instead. And the second topic is the Kitelli Patch add-on, Grunty Food, Grunt, English Grunty Food Voices. Alrighty, so uh, you'll, this, this, this covers the, the, the basics, uh, how to install it, and what the history of it. Um, the link is downloaded here, and it's provided by Dow. Thank you, Dow, for supplying us with this patch. Um, go ahead and all you have to do is just hit the download link. It'll take you to a mega site. And click download. And it'll only take a second. And I'm good. We're good. So if we open up our downloads, you can see we have this zip called ing underscore grunty dot zip. Now you can use now you can put it or you can extract it wherever you want. It's not dependent on anything other than itself. So you can put it you can put it with your telepatch, you can put it in another folder, you can put it in your documents, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put it on the desktop and I'm going to just extract it here. And I'm gonna say extract. Alright, and to make sure we don't lose it, I'll keep it up here. And these are the files that come with it. Uh, when um, you, there's two pieces of, of there's two files we need to get before it'll actually uh, before we can run the, run the patch, we need our telepast ISO, which I happen to have one right here. You can. My recommendation is you run the patch, you run the telepatch first, get get the ISO, and then take the ISO and immediately move it here. And then we will need the other piece. We will need is from a, uh, from dot hack IMLQ. Now. The easiest thing to do is to stick your own, you stick your PS2 disc in, in your media drive and just browse it. Uh, I have an ISO here of my my personal quarantine. And if you go to the voices underscore E, you will find a file called food dot underscore E dot bin. This is the file that contains all of the English grunty voices. So what we'll want to do is copy them. Now, when you, now one thing I should, I should cover as well is that whether you double you, with Windows 10, you can double click an ISO and it'll mount like it's a CD. So whether you so that's what I did here. If you have a CD, if you have an actual physical CD, it'll look pretty much the same thing, same way. So we're gonna go ahead and copy. We're gonna go ahead and paste it here. You can also drag and drop. It's whatever your preferences are. Um, and we no longer need this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click run me. Again, if 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 you starting out that if um, Windows Windows has a protective streak, the it says it's an unknown batch file. It's going to it might you might get this prompt. So go ahead if you do get this prompt, go ahead and more more info and hit run anyway. And now just like the tele patch, it's going to extract. It's going to extract the ISO image out. This could take up to depend. This could take a few minutes, depending on how the speed of your computer and how much memory you have. And then it applies the patch. And then again, you uh, you need image burn. You do need image for burn for this. So if you have if you're already using telepatch, all your all those requirements are there. Um, so go ahead and me again. I like to. You can name this whatever you want. Um, I this I, I choose fragment. You can you can name this. It doesn't really matter. It's for your. It's it's just for your own reference. I would leave it the way it is. And then hit yes. And then it'll create the new um, ISO for you. And. 
and that's it. You will find a dot hack fragment English grunty food. ISO. This is the this will contain both the telepatch and the English voices. Uh, English voices, and that's it's simple. Uh, hopefully, this, hopefully you find this guide useful. Uh, I will also link below a a playlist which contains guides, the, uh, a list a playlist of guides not only that we've created but from other content creators around the, around the YouTube that have created wonderful, very informative guides that'll help you get started with .hack fragment. All right. Thank you very much and have a good day.